Hello and welcome back guys. In this video, we will see what is code sandbox. So in order to get up and running pretty much quickly and straight away, I want to introduce you to something called sand code sandbox. As you all can see, I'm on this website called code sandbox dot io. This is like an online compiler that we we have for other languages like C++, Java and other languages. So basically it takes care of all this setup so that we can start up right away. So we do not have to go ahead and do this npm start again and we do not have to create an react application again and again. In order to avoid that we can use this code sandbox. All you have to do is to just sign up with github account or just you can just use it in this way and you, are, you just have to press create sandbox. Here we can create a sandbox. Sandbox is just like uh, we are creating the react application. Think it in that way. So we have different templates. We have react, we have vanilla, we have node.js also. And we have pre react, we have typescript and stuff. Now in this course, of course, we'll be seeing about react. So that is the reason we will use this react template. So this will basically set up everything that I've shown you in the previous video. This will do all of the npm start stuff and it will be we, will, we can basically start off like very quickly without even taking tension about the setup and all the mumbo jumbo thing that we do all that npm start and moving this and that. Now we can use the code editor as well, but in order in order to share the code as you all can see when uh, before that, I'll just show you what is this thing over here. We have all the files as you all can see we have public we have index.html file When I open the react file, we have index.html file as well over here Same file will be over there Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna close this one and uh, open the Google Chrome. Yeah, we have this is like the This is where we will have all the files when I open this thing I will get all the files in the src we will have app.js index.js index.js and app.js now please do not feel overwhelmed i will be speaking about all of these things in the pre in the next video i will explain you about the structure of this thing uh, we will speak about everything a lot so please do not feel overwhelmed just stay with me now so as you all can see we have src we have src here as well but as you all can see, we have different app.css. We have different types of uh, stylings because in the React application built in, it gives this type of application over here. But the files are pretty much the same. So over here, when you see the, okay, yeah, when you see this thing, dependencies, we have React, React DOM, and we can also add dependencies that you want. Suppose you want to add Node, sorry node we can add node so there are like other if you want to uh, enter any other dependencies if you want to enter fetch or maybe like um, got so we can use that we can just do it in just one click so in order to speed up our process we will be using this and also i'll be sh showing you how to share this thing all you have to do is to go ahead and sign up with uh, github and then you can press fork over here so that will fork in your drafts you can go to your drafts and see the fork sandbox here you can name uh, anything you all want here i will name something like uh, react uh, first app something like this so if i if i just leave the project in this way i can come back again and continue from here now we can also send our project i mean like use this thing and uh, set up our project inside our inside lo locally i meant if you want to set up everything locally we can also um, export this file all you have to do is to go to file and press export which we will speak about in the next video in the coming videos not in the next video because here we will be spending most of our time so i'm just gonna reload this one so this is like the page that we, we will build over here. So when we open this thing in the new window, 
they will have a very big window and here if i just go ahead and i'm just gonna close this babel one and if i just go ahead and change in the app.js as you all can see in the app.js if i change something like uh, hello my hello world my name is saif khan let's save this thing as you all can see we will see this thing over here so this is like a small window and this is like a big window and here we have console over here in order to see the console logs and we have problems this will give all the errors over here and we have react developer tools this is the react developer tools section so you can use both of these things you can either use this local local host to work on your project but i recommend you all to use this thing because you can use this uh, use this link over here and you can send it to your friends and family so that you all can just show i'm sorry i just put a yeah never mind that automatically removed it for me so as you all can see we can use this link and send it to your friends and family as well so we have everything that we need now in the next video we will see about this dx uh, gsx and uh, we'll basically see the structure of this whole react application so for all that and more see you all there